<laughs> All right, I am back with a shorter action figure review. We will be taking a look at the entire Collect and Connect Lobo Wave for the DC Multiverse line, which is about to end. Let's do a roll call. We will look at Kid Flash. We will look at Kingdom Come Superman. We will look at Kyle Rayner. And we will look at the new Batman and Beyond figure. Comes with the Lobo head and we will be building Lobo. Let's get cracking. First, let's look at Kid Flash in the box. Cousin of Wally West, this super-powered speedster joins the Teen Titans as Kid Flash. All right. Let's take a closer look at Kid Flash. Before we do, Kid Flash comes with Lobo arms, very important, and Lobo's weapon. And this is like a real chain, and it feels like it's a, uh, you know, not a cheap chain, but like it's got weight to it. And uh, yeah, I like it. So we'll be getting to Lobo in just a bit. Kid Flash also comes with running hands, which is pretty uh, needed, although I like the hands he comes with here. His left hand is a fist, and his right hand is a hand that can hold things. That's the way you do it. I love this figure. I don't know anything about this character, really. I mean, I know a little bit about the character. Uh, but this figure is an A+. I will show you why in just a bit. But I like the sculpt. I like the hair, the line in the hair. That is awesome. Clean paint applications. I mean, new tooling everywhere. Look, they even retold feet. New tooling, I can't believe it. Mattel's making the best figures they ever made as far as tooling and articulation, and they lost a license to McFarlane. Blows me away, blows my mind. All right, so side to side, up and down. You know, not that exciting. Full rotation on the shoulder, can lift the arm. Single joint on the elbow. Rotation and a hinge at the wrist. He can do some ab crunchies. He has waist swivel, unlike the Thanos figure of yesterday. Splits, you got to believe it. Perfect splits, unlike any of the Marvel Legends yesterday. Upper thigh cut, oh, bicep swivel, unlike Thanos yesterday. Double jointed knees, hinge at the ankle and ankle pivot. And uh, look, we even got some cool treads at the bottom of the feet here. If you're a Kid Flash fan, you're not going to find a better figure. Next, let's take a look at Superman with the black logo on his chest. Kingdom Come art, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see. Having spent 10 years in solitude, Superman returns to fight for justice in a new, disinterested, and indecent planet. Yep, he's not happy. Next, we have Kingdom Come Superman. I'm a little sick of Superman figures, but I gotta tell you, this one's not bad. He comes with Lobo's torso, a jacket. Jacket comes off, so you can have a bare-chested Lobo if you're into that kind of thing. <laughs> um, Lobo's medallion. Superman comes with a pair of flight hands, very important. And here he is, Kingdom Come Superman. Let's take a look at that sculpt. I like it. Head's a little shiny, a little shinier on camera, but I like the sculpt. I think it's good. I like it a lot. I like the logo with the black. It's got the boots there. Pretty cool. That's painted on. That's not sculpted. Uh, his cape, uh, it's kind of flexible. Yeah. So, very good. I like it. I like it a lot. Articulation. You hear the crack. I'm not going to force that. Side to side. He can lift his shoulder. He can rotate it. He's got a single joint at the elbow. He's got bicep swivel. He's got ab crunchies. Can he lift his head for flight? I would say no. That would be a downfall. Uh, a negative mark. You can't really lift the head for flying poses. He does have waist swivel. Can you do splits? 
Yeah, he can do splits. All these figures, man. They've been stretching. Double jointed knees. Uh, no calf cut. Upper thigh cut. Uh, it looks like it's there, but it doesn't want to happen. It's there. It's there. And we have a hinge at the ankle. But here's the thing. I'm not feeling the ankle pivot. Like, it's kind of there, but it also feels like I'm going to break the figure. So, every day Eric's not going to force it. I like his little belt. But here he is. Kingdom Come Superman, and uh, I like the look of them. I like it a lot. So I normally get rid of my Superman figures at this point because I have too many on eBay. But this guy, this guy's a keeper. I like him. Next, let's take a look at Kyle Rayner. His big lanterns, some effects there. And read the bio. DC Rebirth, Kyle Rayner, once a White Lantern and the bearer of the Seven Rings, Kyle Rayner is back to basics under a new core as a Green Lantern. All right. All right, we got Kyle Rayner here out of the box, and I like him. Uh, before we do that, he comes with Lobo Legs. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Lobo legs. Let's put him in the Lobo pile. He comes with a lantern. A new style lantern. I like it. No articulation, just one piece. But I'm down with it. And he comes with a lantern effect. We may have seen this before. I don't know. Alright, but Kyle Rayner. I can't remember if we had a Kyle Rayner figure before. I want to say we did. Uh, but I like the sculpt on the head there. I like the uh, logo, the paint on his chest. Uh, these look new, these little gauntlet things. He's got his ring. It's very important for a lantern to have the ring. And he's got these like knee pads and boots. I like it. The back is pretty, uh, got some paint schmies there. Not sure what's up with that. I uh, got some writing there. I don't know what the deal is with that, but okay. Cal Rayner. Take a look at that head sculpt one more time. Can you look up? Eh, a little smidge. Can you look down? You know, it's a little tight and gummy feeling on the head. We won't push it. Shoulder rotation can lift his arm. Single joint at the elbow. We have rotation and a hinge at the wrist. He has the fist hand for the ring and an opened left hand for holding things. He has an ab crunch. He has a waist swivel. Can you do splits? Boom! Perfect! All three of these guys can do a perfect split. Thigh cut. Oh, bicep swivel. Double jointed knee. Hitting very well with that knee pad. A hinge and uh, an ankle pivot. It's there, people. So, if Kyle Reiner is one of your favorite characters, I gotta say, this is a pretty strong figure. Next up, let's take a look at Batman and Beyond. We got two Lobo heads. I'm getting excited. Two Batman Beyond heads. Let's read this bio. DC Comics Batman Beyond. Genetically engineered Terry McGinnis becomes the caped crusader in a more techno-advanced Gotham City. We need a movie. We need a Batman and Beyond movie with Michael Keaton. Let's make it happen. All right, let's take a closer look at Batman Beyond out of the box. He comes with two heads of Lobo. I'm not sure which one I like. I don't think I like the one with the goggles because the hair, the forehead's too big. And then on this one, I have some paint schmies on the cheek. So, you know, that makes Everyday Eric very happy. Uh, we also get Lobo's crotch. So, yeah, up close and personal with Lobo's crotch. Uh, Batwing, I'm sorry, Nightwing, comes with two heads. Comes with a mean head. I think I like the mean head. And comes with the head we'll take a look at here. Comes with four Batarangs, four of them. Not sure why four. And comes with flight hands. So awesome job there. And here he is, Batman Beyond. That's the stoic face. 
and that is the mean face. I think I like the mean face. Uh, this, his wings, which are red. I'm not sure. I don't remember them being red. It's just a big peg there and a big hole in the back. So they just easily go in. I don't know why they're red. Are they red? Uh, his logo looks good. That's good. Nice paint. Uh, his belt is sculpted. The spikes on his forearms are sculpted. And the rest of them is pretty plain black. I can't tell if that's new or reused. But he looks good. It's a pretty solid figure. All right. Can you look up? Not too much. Down and not too much. Side to side is very easy. Shoulder, a little stiff. Can raise his arm that much. Now, very limited elbow articulation here. Very, very limited. Rotation and hinge at the wrist. Bicep swivel. Ab crunchies are pretty strong. Waist swivel. All right, splits. <laughs> One side wants to go, there you go, splits. Uh, leg down, upper thigh cut, double jointed knees, they are there. Uh, hinge and ankle pivot at the ankle. So yeah, Batman and Beyond. Batman Beyond, what am I talking about? All right, let's take a look at Lobo assembled. Here we go next to Superman. I want to show you the height comparison. This is probably the appropriate height for Lobo. The San Diego Comic-Con figure was beautiful. Uh, it came with a little pooch, but it was way too big. And it's, I have it, it's in a box somewhere. So let's uh, just show you, you know, what's going on here. Yeah, pretty good, pretty good. I don't know what's up with the line work. See what I'm seeing, is that, is that right? I don't know. Head up. Not so much down, I think down, yeah, very good. So you can look down on people. Again, that medallion is a separate piece. His jacket is a separate piece. Um, his, his butt is squishy. You can see how that joint, got to get that joint back in his uh, squishy butt cover here. But yeah, head down really well. Shoulder rotation can lift the arms. Uh, bicep swivel, single joint at the elbow. Uh, rotation and a hinge. He has open hands, two set of open hands. I'm having an issue with his waist here. Mine might be defective. One of the tabs might not be right. I didn't do anything, but it wants to come out. So he's got uh, waist swivel, the ab crunchies. See, look, look at that. Um, there is ab crunch. Yeah, pretty, pretty decent ab crunch. Can you do the splits? My man can do the splits. No upper thigh cut. That's kind of a bummer. Uh, single jointed knee. They didn't make this double joint, so single joint at the knee. That's kind of a bummer. Uh, he's got a hinge at the ankle, and there is, thankfully, ankle pivot. And I like the detail in the boots. It's really cool. I don't know if you guys can see that. We got some great metal work there. Some paint makes it look like metal. His jeans have the wash. They look really good. Uh, I want to like this figure, uh, but that waist keeps popping out. Um, I mean, it's a pretty good Lobo figure. If your dream was to have a bare-chested Lobo, I've got fantastic news for you. You can make your dreams come true. Look at this beautiful alien bounty hunter. So this is the secondary head sculpt. I think I do like this one better. Uh, but mine's got some funky paint on the cheek. Someone really got sloppy there. So not happy about that. Not sure what I'm gonna do about that. But you can make this happen. I wanted to show you uh, Lobo holding his weapon. I had to use the old hair dryer, you know, about 20 seconds on each hand to soften them up. And uh, there he is. He can hold his weapon really well. All right, so what do I think? I like this wave. I like the Lobo wave. I think you should get it. Four figures, and you get this awesome Lobo figure. Mine has a couple QC issues. I'm not sure what I'm going to do about that, but hopefully yours is fantastic. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new here. We have our Game of Thrones show Sunday night after Game of Thrones. 
Have a great day, and as always, I will see you on the new.